Hey guys, it's Richard here and I've got another unboxing for you today. What we're going to be looking at is the Dotop 2 Bay SATA NAS device. So let's have a quick look at some of the features on the box here. So as you can see we've got a nice long list of features here, so let's have a quick run through them. Uh, we've got full support for SATA RAID 0 and 1. We've got gigabit bandwidth which is great. BitTorrent client so we can just let the NAS actually just sit there downloading torrents while all, all the computers are off. iTunes service so we can stream our music across the network. Data sharing over the internet, it complies with various protocols. Shared data via a local network. Sharing your connected printer to anyone in your network. We've got two high speed USB 2.0 ports. We've got shared level security through web based network management tool. We've got a thermal fan controller for the hard disk protection to keep them nice and cool. File sharing between Windows, Mac, and Linux clients. Don't need any drivers and there's no server required. You can fit up to two SATA hard disk drives in there and it's also got support for DHCP server and client. So we've got a bit more information on the back of the box here. For interface we have RJ45 1000 and Gigabit Ethernet and I've got those two USB 2.0 ports. The support for the hard disk drive capacity is SATA 1 or 2 and I believe the maximum you can have on a single hard drive is 2 terabytes so if you put 2 in there it's a total of 4. Got those network protocol supports again and the network IP configuration, auto sensing, DHCP client, and DHCP server. For the file system, we've got ext2, ext3, and FAT32. System tools so, for device setup, we can use a web based user interface, quick installation wizard, hard disk drive standby mode, and user account management. For downloading, we've got support for BitTorrent, FTP, and HTTP without PC. So the OS support pretty much everything that people still use on there. Windows 7, 2000 XP Vista, Mac OS 9 or above. And we've got four LED indicators on the front of the device itself. Uh, one for power, LAN status, and two for the hard disk drive access. And then we've got a bit more information on there about the device itself, the material used, and what comes in the box. So let's actually have a look and see what we've got in there. Alrighty, so we've got an Ethernet cable. Doesn't appear to be too long, but that's fine. This is probably going to be close to your router or switch or whatever you got it connected to. That should be sufficient. Got the installation CD. So this has got uh, the user manual, application tool, and manager user guide. So this is probably the power cord. There we go. Okay, so there we go. All right, so this will just attach that onto here. There you go. All right, so this must be the device itself. Alright, so that's obviously the front of it there. We've got a power switch, reset button there, and those LED indicators. You probably can't see them on the camera, but they've got little icons behind them to indicate what they are for. We've got one of those USB ports here. On the back, we've got the power, your Ethernet connection, and another USB port. Imagine that will be the fan is up the top there. And down the bottom here we've got a couple of vents and we've also got four rubber feet to stop the device from being able to move. Thanks for checking out this unboxing guys. As usual I'll give the product a test for a couple of days and then I'll upload another video just running through some of its features and give you my overall thoughts on it. I'll also have a written review which will be available on the Oz PC Market website so I'll put a link to that in the description box just below once it's up.